guys, this is Garrett McLaughlin, and thanks for checking out the Unite Your Run series. Today I want to look at a simple but effective dynamic warm-up. So one thing I see pretty commonly is, is distance runners in particular like to go out and just walk, pick up to a jog, and then go to their running speed. They don't really do any kind of prep work before their run to help get the body ready and kind of fine-tune for what they're going to do. Um, so instead of giving you this whole long elaborate running dynamic warm-up, what I wanted to do today is give you a, a very simple but effective three to four minute dynamic warm-up which will help work through the entire body through the, the hips, thoracic spine, shoulders, to help, help you loosen up, improve balance, stability, and flexibility for your run. Uh, as we go forward and move ahead in the weeks to come, what I'm going to do is, is show you a few different variations of dynamic warms and how to prepare for your running and your training session. So this is just a good starting point. What I really recommend is, is start with this. Take three or four minutes, put this and implement this before your runs. And then as we get further along in this series, what I'll do is, is teach you how to really break that down and get more specific. Obviously, once you get more specific, we need to take more time. So I really want to give you something right now that is very quick, very effective, that there's really no excuse that you can go, that you can't go and implement this before your running program. So what we're going to do, we're going to first work on leg swings, again, forward and backwards. If you need to, hold onto a wall, hold onto a tree, hold onto some kind of stationary object if you notice your balance isn't really that great. What you're going to do is make sure both toes are always facing directly forward so we're lined up and good alignment here. So as we hold on, we're just going forward and back through a leg swing. So again, loosening up through the hip flexor and hamstring, glute, and all these muscles through the hip. What I want you to think about as you go through here is not coming back and rotating out to the side. It's just a straight forward and back motion. If you look at my back, what you notice is a lot of people as they go through this, they'll really change their body position to try to get more range of motion, but they're compromising stability in the spine. So really lock down your core and run through anywhere between 10 to 20 reps on both sides. Get really engaging, nice comfortable swing, feel the stretch, see where you hit that limit. You don't have to excessively push through those limits. Just go to that limit just to loosen up the surrounding soft tissue and that'll be good. From there, our next one is actually swings across the body. So again, if you're holding here in front, you can come across and out to the side. So what I like about this one the most is not just you're opening up through the groin and hip abductors, the outside of the hip here, you're actually mobilizing the metatarsals. So if you think of your feet, we have these bones that are, that are straight down, five bones straight across that go down towards your toes. With running specifically, we, we need to have some mobility between those metatarsals to really, once we hit the ground, really to absorb and to push off, push off forcefully. So as you go through this motion, allow your foot that's stationary on the ground to slightly roll side to side. Again, we don't want to go so far that we're really stressing the ligaments of the ankle, but just comfortably let that foot move freely and you actually gain some mobility in those metatarsals. So not just the hip, but that bottom foot as well. And on those first two, if you notice, okay, my balance is pretty good or I want to progress the next step, if you want to try those upright, balancing as you go through, again, obviously across and out to the side is a little more tricky to get the balance, you can go ahead and, and do that single leg without supporting yourself to make it a little more challenging. So after you do forward, leg swings forward or back and across and out to the side, your next one is going to be a, just a basic trunk rotation. So feet here, about hip width, they're slightly wider. Hold your hands, your arms on the front. What we're going to do is turn, rotate. So you're trying to loosen up through the thoracic spine in particular, which is the upper part of the spine. So turn, rotate, kind of rotate the shoulders, look to the side. Every time you go and look to the side, try to make sure your toe, the, the back leg, you're pivoting up onto that toe. If you stay stationary here, typically you get a lot more core, uh, torque through the lumbar spine, the lower back. So what we want to do is let that foot come right up onto the toe and take a big turn to the side there, side to side. Again, don't force anything, nice and comfortable as we go through this range of motion. See where your end range is and then work right to that point. So that's our next one. As we continue to move up, our shoulders is next. Again, typically runners can a, a lot of times overlook the shoulders, but we understand that we need good mobility and range of motion through here so we can get a nice strong arm swing, which actually improves power and strength and running performance in the lower extremity. So just basic to start, arm swings coming straight up and back, palms facing each other the whole time. And just like the legs, you'll notice people come up and really arch the spine. So really try to squeeze the abs, pull your rib cage down, stay engaged through the core so that spine stays rigid without arching or flexing. And then just isolate through the shoulders, forward and back. Okay? From there we can alternate. 
Again, arms moving in opposite directions here, a little more similar to that, that running motion. Okay? And then a big one that I like is opening up through the chest. From a postural standpoint, getting those shoulder blades back, that chest open, is really good to stay upright and strong in the upper body to help improve running. So what we're going to do here is we're going to come across the body, palms face down. We're going to go out to the side and turn your palms up. So we're actually rotating this way as we go through. As you come out, palms towards the ceiling, your thumb points backwards. As you come towards, your, your thumbs face each other. So it's a good way to really open up the chest, squeeze those rhomboids, the muscles between the shoulder blades, good postural muscles there in the upper back to help open up the shoulders. So next thing, looking at the, the neck itself, very, very basic, ear to shoulder. Again, the neck and the cervical spine is an area that a lot of people tend to neglect and overlook, and just because a lot of the jobs these days we're sitting, we're at a desk, we're driving, people are really tense up here through the neck and cervical spine. So getting some good range of motion through the neck is very important as far as an injury prevention method. So just side to side, ear to shoulder, same thing, going to 10 to 20 per side, and then just rotate, look over your shoulder. Good. So that's it. That's a basic short dynamic warm up. Uh, again, I ran through it pretty quickly here, but it should not take you much time. Three to four minutes once you get down. And I think you should notice when you get into your run, you, it won't take as long to kind of feel, to feel good like you're warmed up and you're, and you're running efficiently. A lot of people that are getting out there that they're just walking and then going to their running, it still takes some time to move efficiently to get the body connected as a whole between the brain and the muscles into your fluid fluid pattern. So add in that basic dynamic warm up, let me know how you feel. Feel free to leave a comment or share with someone who you know isn't doing any kind of dynamic warm up. Again, it's very simple but it's very effective. And thank you.